right, so today here in the shop, Saturday, we got to do a little emergency repair on some tractor pistons. Um, what we did here is I chucked one already in the rotary fixture. Let's take a closer look on um, what we're up against. All right, customer walks in, says the tool walked out of the mill. And so he's doing some custom machining to these pistons. And this is what it's supposed to look when it's done. You see some chatter here because the tool loosened up. He caught it too late. And um, as the tool walked out, that groove got too deep. So we need to weld this entire groove up here. And um, the way how this works on aluminum, an aluminum MIG, you need to watch your heat input. And as the part heats up, you need to dial your heat down basically as you're welding. So we dug the rotary fixture out here. machine with a push-pull gun and a potentiometer on here where this potentiometer adjusts everything for you at once it adjusts your wire speed your pulse frequency your pulse duty as the material thickness changes the and as my feed rate changes the wire speed the voltage everything changes at once so when I weld this up and you listen to this video you will hear I'm starting out at a higher pitched frequency that indicates higher amperage higher wire feed speeds and as the piston really heats up and gets real soft in order for it to not like just roll out and drip out I'm gonna reduce the wire speed and it will reduce the pulse frequency. I'm gonna show you what you can do with a full synergic machine with a full synergic pulse. You see the ripples of the double pulse right here. How nice and cool this lays down. Then we need to restore basically this sharp edge here. So what we need to do is we need to put a weld like right on the outside here. It needs to be a cold enough weld where it can just build up and stick out. So when you look at this, the weld itself is totally nice and clean. It sticks up just a tad past the surface and it comes in far enough. It was a total build up. If anyone ever has tried to like do build up or gap closing with a spool gun, 
then you know how hard this is with wire. Now, of course, it's going to be the people out there say, oh, I can take this all. Yeah, I can take this all too at like an hour, hour and a half a piston. And or you can wire weld them in about five to ten minutes. So let's do another one. There, five minutes. That's the end result. Yes, and don't tell me it doesn't look good and there's black soot on it. I know that already, it's all gonna be machined. It's not a. It's not an ashtray for your house where it needs to be all TIG, high polished finish. So it's gonna work out just fine for what it is.